Ladies and gentlemen, the grad class of 2013.
Please rise for the singing of O Canada, led by Carly Davenport, followed by our traditional welcome by Brisa Frank. Stand on. 
on guard for thee. Welcome to the graduation of 2013. Thank you so much for being here. I'd like to acknowledge our ancestors and how proud they would be of us and also take witness to this sacred territory of the Coast Salish people. <laughs> it's an honor to have grown up in such a wild oasis of beauty. This is a wondrous community and I thank you for all the compassion and support. Your presence is my greatest blessing and we're graduating. <clears throat> Life is a garden of possibility. May we indulge ourselves with high aspirations and strive to surpass even our own expectations. May you discover your full potential and live genuinely inspired. Whatever splendid adventures you may have, know how loved you are. Marianne Williamson recently remarked, and I quote, there has probably never been a time on earth when there has been such a dramatic dichotomy of peril and possibility. Thank God we are here. May you not be trapped by your fears, for the world is moving faster and faster with copious amounts of frivolous distractions, creating only disenchantment. May we wake up, become aware, and create an inspired reality. May we live beautifully, dream passionately and love completely. And just as a Hopi elder once said, his name was Thomas Benyaka, we are the ones we've been waiting for. Thank you. Graduates, parents, teachers, friends, family, it is my sincere pleasure to welcome you here today to the Gulf Islands Secondary School graduation ceremony for the class of 2013. I'd like to remind you again to please turn off any kind of device you may have that will disturb today's events. With me here today is Tim Erdmer. Good afternoon. My fellow MC is former classmate Shannon Davenport. Uh, we both graduated in 2010 when all of you guys were still in grade nine. We spent all of our high school uh, getting excited for graduation, and when we finally made it to today, it was pretty surreal. Well, you're finally here, and you all look absolutely amazing. <laughs> this is an amazing grad class full of talent and passion. We have artists, musicians, models, actors, athletes, and even one kid who's crazy about birds. You may want to clap and shout loudly for friends of yours and children and siblings that are graduating today, but please refrain from doing so, so that the ceremony may continue in a timely manner. So before we begin, let's have one huge round of applause for the grad of 2013. <laughs> So if you do clap during the ceremony, Tim here uh, plays the bagpipes, and he uh, brought them with him. But thankfully, we do have a few real musicians here today, gracing the stage. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> gracing the stage will be Bailey Dalton, Danielle Aftias, Levi Mundy, Ian McPhail Bartley, Owen Hooper, Sam Lewis, and Carly Davenport. We'd like to continue the tradition of grad MCs dispensing some sage advice to these teenagers about to enter the real world. A world without bedtimes, curfews, schedules, and most importantly, a yellow school bus that picks you up and takes you to school every day. 
Um, we resented our parents for pushing us towards these things when we were in high school, keeping us to our word and, you know, disciplining us when we wanted to go do exciting things that may have not been appropriate. <laughs> but it's been about a thousand days since we graduated and our perspective has definitely changed. In other words, very soon your parents become less annoying and generally more intelligent. <laughs> and they will also think the same of you. It is now my pleasure to introduce School District 64's new superintendent to say a few words. Please welcome Lisa Halstead. Thank you, Shannon and Tim. Good afternoon, graduating class of 2013, parents, staff, and honored guests. To the class of 2013, Congratulations, today is your day. You're off to great places, you're off and away. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes, you can steer yourself in any direction you choose. I know that quotation will sound familiar to many of you. Yes, the source is Dr. Seuss. <laughs> Our lives are influenced by so many sources and the pace and forms of communication change over time. As you transition from the world of high school into your future, you will need to be prepared to, to adapt to ever-changing times. I can relate. I've seen a few changes in my own life during my five years in the Gulf Islands. When I was contemplating the message I wanted to deliver at today's ceremony, I decided to research what is in vogue and trending for this year's graduation speeches, and there is no shortage of advice or opinions. One of the numerous sources I checked, actually several of the sources I checked, recommended to stay away from Disney or Dr. Seuss as a theme. I considered this advice carefully and you will note from the opening line of my comments today that I chose to ignore it. Yes, in life I've learned that one must balance a diversity of opinions and ultimately make the decision that best fits the time and the situation. Throughout your lives, you will be bombarded by advice and suggestions and will need to continually analyze the reliability and validity of information sources you encounter. This brings another Seussism to mind. The more that you read, the more things you will know. The more that you learn, the more places you'll go. I sincerely hope as you go through life that you have the opportunity to read every day and that you will gather information from a variety of sources and you will take the time and effort to analyze the information presented with an open mind and ultimately decide what is right for you. Concepts evolve over time. And one source of advice while I was conducting research for um, addressing graduates advocated for the acronym SPAM. Yes, the evolution of the word SPAM is relatively recent. Some of you are probably thinking of luncheon meat. Well, others are thinking of unwanted email and other forms of electronic communication. However, in this instance, the authors revealed that the acronym was A, uh, was S for situation, P for purpose, A for audience, and M for message. To break the acronym down, the S is the situation, which is our gathering here today. To quote Dr. Seuss, sometimes the questions are complicated and the answers are simple. As I look around the room, I see a community of support for this year's graduating class. All of you have had tremendous influence on the lives of today's graduates. I would like to thank you for the role you've played in fostering their success. The P in the acronym SPAM stands for purpose. And today we are here to celebrate and recognize the accomplishments of the class of 2013. I feel very privileged to have had the opportunity to teach many of the students in this year's graduating class. But not to worry those of you who are in grade eight at Sims. When I first came to school district 64, I won't be sharing personal stories at this time. However, I would like to thank you for training me so well when I first came to the Gulf Islands. I'm very appreciative. The group we are here to celebrate has a very promising future in front of them. 
In fact, I know their success in the future will shape my future. Please keep in mind, and of course, according to Dr. Seuss, today you are you, and that's truer than true. There is no one alive who is youer than you. Please continue to be true to yourselves. The A in SPAM stands for the acronym Audience. And we who are assembled here today as a supportive community are of this year's graduates. Wouldn't it be great if we always had our support groups and closest advocates with us as we journey through life? Grads, even though those in the room might not always be able to be with you in person, and that might be a good thing, that please remember that we are here for you. And my susical advice on this is be who you are and say what you feel because those who mind don't matter and those who matter don't mind. We are there for you and encourage you to reach out and connect with us as you develop your pathway through life. And the last letter in the graduation speech acronym SPAM is M for message. Dr. Seuss in O, oh, the places you'll go, infers that there are many opportunities in life to be seized and some to be missed. There is contrast between you're off to great places, today is your day, your mountain is waiting, so get on your way, and wherever you fly, you'll be one of the best. Wherever you go, you'll top all the rest, except when you don't, because sometimes you won't. Yes, in life there are mountains to climb. Strive for your goals, but ensure to enjoy the scenery and cherish your experiences along the way. In addition, don't be disheartened by disappointments. Like a mountain, life has its ups and downs. Strive for balance. Learning on a daily basis is not always easy. As mentioned at the start of my speech, as you progress through life, you will find no shortage of opinions and advice. When I graduated from high school, no one would have understood the relevance of a SPAM acronym being used as advice to a graduating class. Continue learning, analyzing information. I wish you balance and perspective throughout your lives. In closing, I would like to acknowledge that graduating from high school can be an emotional time. Therefore, I would like to leave you with one last piece of advice from Dr. Seuss. Don't cry because it's over. Smile because it has happened. You are an incredible group of students. You make my future look so much brighter. I feel truly honored to be superintendent of schools in the Gulf Islands. Congratulations to all of you on behalf of the Board of Education. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Halstead. Now it is my pleasure to ask the Honorable Elizabeth May to present the Governor General's Award for last year's top academic student. Thank you, Shannon. Thank you to Shannon and Tim, who are doing such a, an excellent job of emceeing today's event. I am extremely happy to be here again on Salt Spring Island for the annual graduation of Gulf Island Secondary School students. I have the great honor, as your Member of Parliament, of attending the graduation events in the high schools throughout the riding. And I always look forward to this one so much. One shouldn't pick favorites, but there's, as you know, this is unique. There is no other high school graduation that I've ever attended anywhere where so many community groups come up later to provide scholarships, encouragement, where so many people from the community stand with all of you on your graduation day to make sure you can have the best possible careers, the most community support, love that continues from your whole community that goes with you as you go out in the world. It's really quite extraordinary what the Gulf Island Secondary School is. And for that, I want to take just a moment and behalf, on, on behalf, as I can say, on behalf of the Government of Canada, I want you to join me in thanking the teachers and the faculty and the staff of this great school. Because you rock, like you totally rock. 
Now, I, I'm not going to give a long speech. Uh, you'll be gr relieved to hear that. Um, and I do, I had, you know, great words of profound wisdom. Some of them came from Dr. Seuss. Uh, uh, they're, they're gone now. It's okay. Uh, I do, though, on a Dr. Seuss theme, want you to know that I see my job in Parliament is very much inspired by um, the Lorax. <laughs> uh, uh, if nobody else does, by God, I'm going to speak for the trees, I tell you. Anyway, the other thing I wanted to share, you know, profound words of wisdom. My daughter graduated from high school some years ago because she just last week graduated from university. And it reminded me so much of these profound words of wisdom from the valedictorian at her high school graduation. Time flies like an arrow. Fruit flies like a banana. I, I, I just wanted to share that with you <laughs> to, so that I will remind all of you grads that you will never be too old to be silly. You should never be too old to wonder what you're going to do when you grow up. And life is learning. It doesn't stop when school's over. As Mark Twain said, you know, never let schooling get in the way of your education. Uh, this school didn't get in the way of your education. This, pla this place turned your mind on. You're going to stay turned on and paying attention because life is just one long learning experience. Some lessons are great, some are harder, but you never stop learning because you've got a great start. And it, now I'm going to turn to what I'm supposed to do and present this. Uh, this is a truly extraordinary achievement. Uh, for those of you who don't know, every year the Governor General of Canada acknowledges with a quite beautiful actual medal and a certificate called the Governor General's Academic Medal. It's awarded, it's a bronze medal awarded for academic excellence to the student who achieves the highest average upon graduating from a secondary school. All personally signed by our Governor General David Johnson and of course it acknowledges the academic achievement of last year because it's the completed grades and on and on and on. So I would like to ask Caitlin Tamel to come up and accept the Governor General's Award for Academic Excellence. if she wants to say anything, do you? No, I'm okay. No, she's okay. <laughs> Thank you, Elizabeth. It's a great honor to have our own member of parliament come and give this award, especially to someone with as much potential as Caitlin. Please welcome Judy Radish to the podium for the principal's address. There's a lot of paper up here. <laughs> Honored guests, families, graduates of 2013. This is my last graduation speech as the principal. And what a good one to have the privilege to, to deliver. Not only is this an amazing grad class, they're my first Salt Spring kindergarten class. It's a good full circle time to move on to a new job. So grads, yes, I did leave before you finished your year, but after 13 years together, I couldn't very well leave without saying something. So this speech is from me to you. First off, I want to say how great to see you all together. I have truly missed you the last three weeks. And I also want to say especially thank you to Calder for fighting the good fight to get here. I can't help but think. I can't help but think that the, the love we were all sending helped. So, where else to begin but at the beginning? And for me, that's Galliano. 
Maya and Kevin crossed my path as little weenies on Galliano Island. In fact, I remember when Maya had another name and announced to all of us that from now on, she'd be called Maya. And Kevin, I think my first memory I have of you is when you were about four years old, maybe even younger, driving the bobcat all by yourself onto the barge. So yeah, we've been together a long time. In fact, as I sorted through my thoughts and feelings in order to write the speech, I was completely overwhelmed. I've had one or two good cries. It's been good. There's so many special moments. I can't help but think that I'll miss so many, and it's going to come to me over and over again over the next week or so. Here we go. Where else to begin? Oh, 13 years ago. We don't want to do that one again. 13 years ago, you walked into elementary school for the first time. And that's when I met a good number of you. You were my first Fulford kindergarten class. As a kindergarten class, you were amazing. Ms. Huntley, your teacher, was a brand new kindergarten teacher straight out of a grade five classroom. And she assumed you had pretty much the same skills as her previous grade five class. And you, being in kindergarten, assumed that she was absolutely correct. In fact, you did such great work that year that at least one of you handed in your kindergarten project as a grade 10 socials project. Right, Ty? <laughs> With a little change up of personalities, some of you moved north, others of you joined us in the deep south. You were the grade threes in my big multi-grade extravaganza. I was interested in finding out stu what students would learn if I immersed them in real science and lots of hands-on learning. I was on a crusade to put the nature in nature school. So we set out on a field trip once a week for an entire year. That year, we did clam surveys, water quality testing, stream studies, writing in the swamp, experiments at the marine research station, soil sampling, presenting our findings at big science conferences and Ronan examined every centimeter of a dead octopus. <laughs> Some of my favorite moments come from that year, and so does my belief that we all learn best when we're truly interested, genu genuinely challenged, live with high expectations, and have a say in our learning path. Thank you, you changed me as a teacher. And then, as both Owen and Trevor pointed out to me last week, I left you and moved to GISS. But eventually you caught up to me and brought a whole lot of new friends from different schools with you. And I'm so glad that you did. I'm honored to have spent this four years with you. So what's notable about this class? Everything. Academically, you have a lot to offer. Your marks are fantastic. The university acceptances and scholarships attest to that. But you, above all graduating classes, have taught me that that's not what's really important. Deep learning is important, and it's hard to put a number or a letter grade on that. It might even be wrong to put a number or a letter grade on that. Farley taught me this when I asked him what mark we should put in his report card for his independent directed study. He very clearly said, I don't care, give me anything you want. I learned so much that the mark means nothing. Thank you, Farley. That was another pivotal moment for me. Your class is also, is also athletically talented. Senior boys soccer and senior boys volleyball both went to provincials. Volleyball finishing fifth, the best finish I've seen in my seven years here. Way to go, boys. The rest of our teams were a force to be reckoned with, narrowly missing but putting significant pressure on our, on our opponents. You've kept the Scorpion standard grads. The bigger island is still afraid of us. And this class has also taught me a great deal about being an athlete that goes far beyond what you learn in PE or on a school team. Paige, Emily, Maddie, Elise, and Hannah, early mornings in boot camp with Ms. Mitchell with you are a career standout memory for me. So hard, but it was also life-changing for a few of you, and maybe me too. You discovered your life fit self that you never would have found in formal sport. Those of you who know me know that rowing is my life fit happy place. So I very much need to say thanks for the shared kilometers on the Lake Elise. I'll row with you anytime. What about visual arts? Yep, you've got talent there too. I remember a few years back, 
walking past the office and seeing what I thought was a photograph in the display case. Turned out that it was a drawing by Annika, and I'm still amazed by it. Ty, Ruby, Katie, Danielle, Marley, Sarah, Shasta, Megan, Brisa, Annika, Ronan, all took up residence in the art room at one time or another, drawing, painting, creating. You grads have some great talent in your midst. Por performing arts are a school focus. On Tuesday night, I was at Art Spring watching the dance performance. Ruby, Jolyn, Rebecca, Shannon, Cody, and of course, Trevor, your obvious enjoyment of what you were doing has made me smile for many days. And our musicians are great too. Carly, Maya, Levi, Olivia, Emma Lea, Danielle, Bailey, Gabrielle, and our pianist, Matt, and of course, Sam, who made me cry with the song he wrote last semester. The GISPA crew will be, be missed. Sam, Carly, Steffi, Jonah, Hannah, and Nicole. We've gotten used to your faces on the stage and Lauren's behind the scenes. And I would be remiss if I didn't mention our improv crew. Quick, intelligent, and funny. Thanks for the laughs, Nicole, Jonah, Ethan, and Owen. This class has also been an indie label class. Many of you have been uh, promoted and supported by the Antler Club and managed by Will. Sam, Levi, Owen, Ryan, Matt, Carly, and Cole have all performed or produced incredible music as independent artists this year. I'm always so impressed with our apprentices, Electrical Nick, Kevin the Welder, Daniel the Metal Guy, Machinist Eldon producing prototypes for UVic engineers, Tala the Cook, and Ty the Meat Cutter. And Max, Kayla, and Ben spent the year gaining technical training in the professional cook program, and Austin in carpentry. Trades are in demand, so this great decision by you to spend high school in the trades will take you far. Many of you have traveled to Salt Spring from other places for high school, but special mention should be made of, of Nao from Japan, Steffi from Hong Kong, and Linda from Taiwan. We're honored that you chose our community to be part of and to graduate as part of our GISS family. So what really makes you stand out other than the usual things as a grad class? When I sift through the memories and the times that we've shared, I have to say, I'll remember you for your passion, your leadership, and your respect for your relationships with your community. Every year we tell the grads, work with us with, on your pranks, and they never do. But you did, and it was epic. The castle was sensational, and the kind and generous, positive spirit of greeting that you, you offered to all who entered, that showed us who you really are. It was great. Halloween, the Christmas tree, the elves at Sims and Salt Spring Elementary were awesome. Thanks for believing that we would always say yes and inviting us in to help. It was such good fun. Jonas, Ellie, Emmy, Brianne, and Emily, thanks for being travel companions to Europe. I am truly glad I was able to spend time with you outside of school, even if it meant bonding over barf bags. And my home room, which is partly Griff's, but I don't really remember who belongs to who. Sasha, Emily, Maddie, Annika, Isabella, Lauren, Maddie, Emilea, Shai, Kevin, Katie, and DPA Dylan. I am so happy to have seen you every day for these past four years, or at least in Dylan's case, about every once a week. <laughs> so thanks for sharing your journey with me and for making Griff a homeroom fan. I've also thought quite a bit about you as independent learners. Devin, Ben, Cole, Chloe, Emily, so many of you have created your own studies. But Ian, Farley, and Owen, you're the poster boys for personalized learning. Ian may have completed more IDS courses than anyone in the school, including a full orchestral composition for the Salt Spring Concert Band. Farley's life, as it turns out, is an IDS. And Owen's future fame as a musician owes its start to shift and the IDS process. Thanks for digging in, boys. You helped us learn a lot by your complete and sincere involvement in your own journey and the whole process. And I have to talk about your leaders. Global initiatives, eager leadership class, students helping students, r, &R youth team, student council. It's been amazing, really. 
Maddie, Lauren, Farley, Maya, Cole, Owen, Jolin, Gabrielle, Ronan. Wow, you've taken leadership to a new level. Not only did you basically run the Salt Spring Forum this year, but you also had great influence beyond the school and even the community. You've met with John Abbott, Tony Little of Eaton College, the School Planning Council, UVic professors and students, Rod Allen from the Ministry of Education, groups of educators from Victoria, the Campbell River teachers, Jane Thornthwaite, the Lieutenant Governor, Judith Guichon, and our local Board of Education, all at their request. They heard through the grapevine that you had important ideas and wanted to learn what you had to say about how schools need to change. You've attended a major provincial education conference and made ripples. You've influenced educational decisions at the BC government level. You've represented your class and your school with your strong voice and clear ideas, and the, you've lived the change that you want to see. Bravo. So you are a truly great group of young people, happy, respectful, thoughtful, inquisitive, curious, talented, intelligent, strong, committed, loving, and a great deal of fun to be around. Your graduation leaves a great big space to fill. So, polish up your crowns, snuggle into your fur coats, and enjoy your celebration, because tonight you are indeed royalty. Grad 2013. Thank you, Judy. So, our second piece of advice is to keep in touch with your close friends. As you get older, you learn who your true friends are and the kind of people that you want to have around. It's important to keep the people who enrich your life around you, even if it's just a quick text or a phone call. One of the great things about graduating, however, is that you don't have to see some of your fellow graduates ever again. <laughs> With the exception of bumping into them on island during the holidays or maybe off island very randomly. If this is what you truly desire, a Facebook purge is simple, quick, and really gets the job done. Okay. It is now time for the first round of certificates. Reading these will be Sonia Langer and Larry Nelson. Handing out the certificates will be GISS's new principal, Lyle Rulin. Rhiannon Klassen. Rhiannon's best memories of GISS are hanging out with her friends, Laura and Debbie. Her accomplishments are graduating and getting a job at the thrift store. She is proud of her art and the jewelry boxes she had made, has made for gifts. She plans for the her plans for the future are to work at the clothes store and to do lots of shopping. Rhiannon would like to thank Laura, her best friend. She would also like to thank Mrs. Brown, Mrs. Campbell, Trish, Johanna, Annie, and Sam. Special thanks to her mom, dad, and Morgan. Congratulations, Rhiannon. Tom McCormick. Entering high school with great excitement and feeling welcomed are great memories that Tom has of GISS. He is proud of some beautiful piece of furniture he built in the shop class and of learning to understand and enjoy math class. Tom intends to buy a truck, spend time with his brother, and to be an awesome friend. He thanks Calder for being the best grad date he could possibly find. Congratulations, Tom. Calder McCormick. Being able to go to town for lunch was a highlight in grade nine for Calder. He liked the teachers and the classes, especially photography and shop class. Calder is proud of the bed he built in shop class and is really glad to be here today. Future plans including continuing to recover and to enjoy life on Salt Spring Island. Thanks go out to all the teachers, friends, family, computer, community, first responders, doctors, nurses, and therapists who helped to make grad 2013 possible. Congratulations, Calder.
Danielle. Danielle Aftius. Danielle will never forget her time here with all its up and ups and downs, overdue homework, music shows, looming deadlines, and friends both gained and lost. Come September, she will have left for university to pursue her love of literature and writing. Danielle thanks everyone, good and bad, for helping her to realize what kind of person she wants to be and what kind she doesn't. Congratulations, Danielle. Lord, um, I'd also like to award you a district scholarship. Congratulations, Danielle. <laughs> on behalf of the Gulf Island Teachers Association, congratulations, Danielle, on receiving our bursary. On behalf of Salt Spring writers and friends, I'm very pleased to present you with this year's Creative Writing Scholarship. <laughs> Ruby Barnard. Ruby's best memories of GISS are Monday afternoons with the youth team and time spent in the dance studio. In the fall, she plans on traveling to Tanzania to volunteer as a youth worker, and in January, she will be attending UBC. She would like to thank her perfect parents and sister, her amazing friends, and all her teachers. Congratulations, Ruby. Ruby, we'd like to present you with the Ruby Alton Memorial scholarship and uh, another ruby at the south end of of the island who is a splendid character and uh, we hope you'd be proud to have met her all people who met her loved her so all the best to you ruby Thank you. Thank you. Nicholas Boyd. Nick's best memories of GISS are hanging out with his friends. His biggest achievement was going to provincials for hockey in 2011. Plans for the future include carrying on with hockey and pursuing a career. Nick would like to thank his parents for supporting him in whatever he does. Congratulations, Nicholas. <laughs> Harry Brooks. Harry's best memories of GSS are being with friends and playing soccer. Her accomplishments are completing French immersion and mentoring children. Plans for the future include getting lost in Europe with her best friend and attending university where she returns the following fall. <laughs> Harry would like to thank her teachers, coaches, friends, and family. Congratulations, Harry. And on behalf of the Electoral District Association for the Saanich Gulf Islands Green Party, it's my great honor to present you with the first ever, we'll be doing them every year, Green Party of Canada Scholarship for Civic Engagement, recognizing excellence in the student who has exhibited commitment to effective citizenship through volunteer work to improve our world. I know you want to go on to university to study environment and sustainability. Stay in touch. I want to be your fairy godmother. Dawson Brown. Dawson's best memory of GISS is his grade 12 year. His accomplishments include passing every class. In the future, Dawson plans to make a fortune. He would like to thank his family, his bros and friends, Chip Chipman, Mr. Astell, Mr. Columbine, and Mr. Duncan. Congratulations, Dawson. <laughs> Haley Brown. Haley's best memories of GISS are traveling to Hawaii with the girls' volleyball team and having the opportunity to meet all her amazing friends. Haley's plans for the future include traveling around the world and attending Camosun College to study psychology. Haley would like to thank her family for motivating her to do her best, her parents for making the Haley the person she is today, and the girls. Nothing would have been possible without you all. She loves you. Congratulations, Haley. <laughs> Tim Camps. Tim's best memories are the amazing teachers and friends and the long road trips with the soccer and basketball teams. Making it to provincials with Mr. Pearson and the boys will never be forgotten. His accomplishments include completing the French Immersion Program, receiving Most Athletic Senior Player of the Year, and placing in the top 10 in provincials. His plans for the future include moving to the Netherlands, where he will study physiotherapy for four years. He would like to thank his family, the crew, Donald Duncan, and the famous Doug Pearson for making high school a fantastic and extremely enjoyable place. Congratulations, Tim.
Hi, Tim. On behalf of the William and Irene Palmer Memorial, I'm very pleased to present you with this scholarship. Farley Cannon. Some of Farley's best memories at GISS were dancing Michael Jackson with Trev. Mr. Krause's bad jokes, late night settlers of Kintan with the crew, the legendary senior boys trips. His future plans are to seek out knowledge and explore new frontiers at Quest University. He would like to thank Judy Radish, Kelda Logan, Sue Spencer, David Denning, and Conrad Koch for supporting his goals. Congratulations, Farley. Hi, Farley. On behalf of the Salt Spring Island Conservancy, it's my pleasure to present you with this bursary. Farley, on behalf of the Farmers Institute, I'd like to present you with this bursary. William Carter. Will, as a re recent addition to GISS, didn't have a lot of time to meet everybody, but enjoyed it here nonetheless. In the fall, Will had plans to attend university, but after this school year, he is reconsidered and plans to travel to Southeast Asia. Will would like to thank his aunt, uncle, friends, and Griff, especially Griff. Congratulations, William. Marley Clark. Marley's best memories are of traveling to New York City, the water taxi ride, and performing in the dance shows. Her achievements include getting accepted into Emily Carr, University of Art and Design, and making it to graduation. Future plans are to attend post-secondary and work towards a career in production design. Marley would like to thank her family, her friends, and her Pender family. Also, she would like to thank Mr. Assel for reminding her to finish biology. Congratulations, Marley. Congratulations, Marley. On behalf of the Board of Education, I'm pleased to give you a school district scholarship. Hi, Marley. Congratulations. On behalf of, on, uh, on behalf of Art Off the Fence on Pender Island, I'm very pleased to present you with this bursary. Braden Kraus. Braden's best memory at GISS is attending police camp in 2013. Braden plans on attending post-secondary to study criminal justice. Braden would like to thank her family and friends that helped her make high school years more enjoyable. Congratulations, Braden. Braden, on behalf of Thrifty Foods, I'd like to present to you a Coastal College Entrance Scholarship. Congratulations. Bailey Dalton. Bailey will always remember the genuine nature of the people of GISS. She is so grateful for all the opportunities that she has been given, especially meeting sweet people, learning new things, and being able to go traveling. Her next destination is South America. Bailey wants to thank her amazing family members who have always been her best friends and thank all of the incredible people that make GISS so wonderful. Congratulations, Bailey. Hi, Bailey. On behalf of the Lambda Foundation, I want to say we're really, really proud of your involvement in the promotion of human rights, and may that stay with you forever. Thanks. Hi, Bailey. On, beh <clears throat> on behalf of the Olive Layard Memorial, I'm very pleased to present you with this scholarship. Hi, Bailey. I'm here to present uh, the first uh, uh, Ken Rulo uh, inaugural uh, scholarship. Uh, and the Rulo family wanted me to pass on a couple words to you. The young lady receiving the first Ken Rulo Memorial Award really seems to us to represent the spirit that we first envisioned. An honor roll student, choir member, intending to study environmental science, and who has clearly demonstrated a desire to contribute to the broader conversation through her volunteer work with a number of organizations, including the Gay Straight Alliance. She's also an individual who recognizes the link between nature and the impact of human influence on the environment. Bailey, we hope this award in some small way allows you to pursue your passions, which for us moves Ken's spirit forward. Best wishes for your future studies, Ken's family and friends. Thank you. 
Carly Davenport. Carly's best memories of GISS include enjoying the sun with friends. Her accomplishments include building her personality and becoming the person she is today. Future plans involve moving to the big city to take life as it is and to make it her own. Carly would like to thank Mr. Smith for making her stronger, her parents and siblings for always being there, and last but not least, her grandma. Even though she isn't here today, Carly knows that her grandma is watching. Congratulations, Carly. Carly, on behalf of the Board of Education, I'm pleased to present you with a district scholarship. Jasmine Davis. Jasmine would like to thank her friends, her family, and the staff at GISS for making her time here wonderful. She would especially like to thank her boyfriend, Logan, for always being there, her friends, Lauren, Shasta, and Kayla, for welcoming her into this school, and Corey Irving for keeping the integrity of our group. Congratulations, Jasmine. On behalf of the Pender Island Lions Club, it's my pleasure to give you the Pender Island Cunliff Bursary. Hi, Jasmine. On behalf of Pender Island Realty, I'm really happy to give you this bursary for continuing education. Congratulations. Mac Dine. Mac's best memories of GISS are the rough water taxi rides, his work experience, and Law 12. His accomplishments include becoming a firefighter and completing fire camp and police camp. Plans for the future include starting a career in the emergency services. Mac would like to thank his, his family and friends, Charlie Boyd and Linda Simpson. Congratulations, Mac. On behalf of the Salt Spring Island Firefighters Association, I'd like to present you with the first of two Steve Thomas Bursary Awards. And again, on top and <clears throat> from the Pender Island Lions Club, uh, Cunliffe Bursary. Thank you. Chloe Doby. Chloe's best memories of GISS are the people for making the experience what it was. Her accomplishment is just being here. Her future plans include traveling to Argentina on a volunteer program and obtaining a, a degree in athletic and exercise therapy at Camosun College. Chloe would like to thank her family for being loving and supportive, her friends for all the memories, Mr. Duncan for never giving up on her, Mr. Griffith for all the talks, and all the other GIS teachers and counselors. Congratulations, Chloe. And on behalf of the Board of Education, I'm very pleased to be awarding you a district scholarship. Congratulations. Lily Dosko. Lily's best memories of GISS are enjoying the sunshine and laughing with friends. Her greatest accomplishments were getting to know herself and becoming who she is today. Lily's plans for the future include moving to California, enjoying the beach, and taking life as it comes. Lily would like to thank her parents for always being there, her sissy for being the best sister anyone could ask for, her uncle Mike and her grandma for watching out for her, and Auntie Tracy for always making her laugh. Congratulations, Lily. Ben Dow. Ben's best, best memories are being in several of the second story theater productions, such as the Canterbury Tales and the Odyssey. His greatest accomplishments are exploring opportunities and developing close friendships throughout the years. Future plans? Ben is not quite sure yet. He will return to GISS for a semester to upgrade, and then he will go forward into the dawn. Thanks go out to Chef Mark Kilner, Millie and Susan, and Mr. Donaldson. 
Congratulations, Ben. <laughs> Ty Dunkley Whalen. Of all the adventures, games, and fun involved with school soccer team are highlights of Ty's years at GISS. He is proud to have placed top 10 in the province with the senior boys soccer team this year. Completing six years of French immersion was also a big accomplishment. Ty's plans for the future are uncertain, but he will begin by studying art next year at Camosun College. Thanks go out to Doug Pearson for making high school so much fun and being a great mentor all over the years, as well as to his entire blended family for their ongoing love and support. And a huge thanks to all of his friends who had ma made these years worthwhile. Congratulations, Ty. And on behalf of the Board of Education, I'm very pleased to be awarding you a district scholarship. Congratulations. On behalf of Gulf Island Television Society, a scholarship for visual arts. Michael Elser. Michael's best memories of GISS are the 2012 volleyball trip to Hawaii and the 2011 and 2012 Senior Boys Volleyball Provincials. One of his greatest accomplishments was earning fifth place in the 2012 Provincial Tournament. In the near future, Michael will be attending his pilot's license, attaining his pilot's license in Nanaimo, and riding motorcycles as much as possible. Michael would like to thank his coach, Kelly Booth, for three amazing volleyball seasons, and his mom for helping him every step of the way. Congratulations, Michael. <laughs> Chloe Esposito. Chloe's plans over the next year include working in a barn in Florida as a student. She then plans to attend the University of Saskatchewan in animal sciences. Chloe would like to thank her coach, Jackie Cooper, for always pushing her to be better. She would also like to thank all four of her parents and Mary for supporting her in pursuing her dreams. Congratulations, Chloe. <laughs> Tiffany Fisher. <laughs> Tiffany's best memories at GISS were meeting amazing people and learning great life skills. One of her accomplishments this year is graduating early Tiffany would like to thank her family and friends for always being at her beck and call, and BK for always answering the phone when Tiffany needed her the most. Congratulations, Tiffany. <laughs> Silas Flynn. Silas's best memories of GISS are passing all of his courses. His accomplishments include in completing over 200 hours of work experience. He now has a job from that commitment and he works at the local bike shop. Another success story happened at the skate park for Silas when he learned a really scary gap transition on his BMX bike. <laughs> Silas's um, plans for the future include working, living at home, and saving money. Silas would like to thank his mom, teachers, and friends Congratulations, Silas. <laughs> Brisa Frank. Brisa is grateful to have had the privilege of being a part of this inspired community and for the lovely relationships that have grown up over the years. The moments we've all shared here will forever influence the artistry of our lives. The future holds so many adventures. Brisa would like to thank the community who has supported us ever since we were knee-high to a grasshopper. She holds great appreciation for the exquisite place where we live. Brisa hopes that in the future, we will be able to reflect the humble sincerity of this island where we all have grown up and incorporate the ever-present mystique into our lives. Honor your heritage and always remember your loved. Congratulations, Brisa. Brisa, I'm here to give you a scholarship from the Waterfront Gallery Society.
Teresa, the Salt Spring Community Arts Council is delighted to give you this year's bursary in visual arts. Congratulations. Thank you. Teresa, on behalf of the Board of Education, it's my pleasure to present you with a district scholarship. Emily Fraser. Emily's best memory of high school was a certain trip up the mountain with Aiden and other friends. Her accomplishments include taking college courses while in high school and, and working two jobs. She plans to attend college to attain a BBA, get rich and travel the world. She thanks her teachers, her parents, and Brad for helping her spread her wings and fly. Congratulations, Emily. Hello, Emily. On behalf of Country Grocer, I'm very pleased to present you with this bursary. Congratulations. On behalf of the Royal Canadian Legion, I present you with this bursary. Rachel Fraser. Rachel is so happy to graduate. Her future plans are to live a fun, creative, and happy life as an astronaut. Rachel sends out thanks to Mr. Astle, Chip Chipman, Chef Kilner, and all her family. Congratulations, Rachel. Ethan Friggan. Ethan's best memories at GISS include going to Hawaii, attending the Provincials with the volleyball team, and hanging out with friends when the weather got nice. His future plans include traveling the world and turning 19. <laughs> Ethan would like to thank his mom and brother for always being there and his coach, Kelly Booth, for always helping him reach his potential. Congratulations, Ethan. Katie Fulbrook. Katie's best memory is spending summer afternoons on the field. In the next few weeks, Katie will be leaving to work in an animal shelter in Costa Rica for the summer. After that, she will go to London and then to art school in America. Katie wants to thank her friends and family, her dog Boone, and her, other, and her older brother Wyatt. Congratulations, Katie. Kevin Gerlach. Most of Kevin's best times at GISS were spent in his shop classes, learning to stick weld without sticking and scavenging for more metal were memorable moments. He enjoyed getting reacquainted with old school buddies and meeting new friends. Work experience in secondary school apprenticeship programs brought him closer to his goal of being a Red Seal welder. Kevin thanks his family, friends, and teachers who stood by and pushed him when needed to get him to where he stands today. Congratulations, Kevin. Kevin, on behalf of the Mowat family and Mowat's trading, I'd like to present you the Richard Toynbee Scholarship for a student going into vocational studies. Congratulations. Kevin, uh, on behalf of the Salt Spring Island Firefighters Association, proud to present you with the uh, second of two Steve Thomas bursaries. Kevin, for all your hard work, on behalf of the Salt Spring Garbage Service, I'd like to present this scholarship for the traits. Well done. Elijah Gold. Eli enjoyed receiving help from the great coaches and teachers he had. The support from his parents was most appreciated. It was amazing, it was amazing being part of such a great group of grad students. Eli says, good luck to you all. Congratulations, Eli. <laughs> Louis Gonzalez. Louis's best memory at GISS is playing video games all night at school for 15 hours straight at a LAN party. 
He is proud of completing a four-month project in 30 minutes. <laughs> I wonder what he got on that. <laughs> in the future, Louis plans to get into game development, and this, of course, will involve playing lots of video games. Louis would like to thank everyone who has made him a procrastinator for life. <laughs> Congratulations, Louis. Madison Gregaines. Madison's best memories of GISS are being with and dancing with amazing friends. Her favorite accomplishments from her time at GISS are all the times she danced on the Art Spring stage. Madison plans to travel to all the amazing places in the world that she can find. Her first adventure will start this September where she will be volunteering in Ghana for five months. She would like to thank her mom and dad for all the love they gave her. Congratulations, Madison. Jonah Grindler. Jonah's plans for the future involve a backpack and a camera. Jonah would like to thank his family for the love and motivation, his friends for the memories, and his teachers, especially Mr. Donaldson, for the support and inspiration. Congratulations, Jonah. Matthew Grossman. Next year, Matt plans to apprentice in small engine repairs, and after that, we'll just have to see. He will also continue as a volunteer with the Salt Spring Fire Department. Matt would like to thank Ms. Braden, Chip, Mr. Watkins, Fire Chief Tom Bremner, Travis Geddes, and his parents for all their support. Congratulations, Matt. <laughs> Samantha Gruzis. Samantha's best memories of JSS are being with friends. Her accomplishments are creating a fitness routine, sticking to it, and inspiring friends to do the same. Sammy's plans for the future is to attend college and to become a personal trainer. She would like to thank her dad and stepmom for inspiring her to do her best, her mom for supporting her talents, and her siblings for always having her back. Ronan Gunn. Ronan's best memories of GISS include going to Provincial with the lads, all the adventures, the episodes, and making history. One of his accomplishments is building a castle in the courtyard on the first day of school. Ronan's plans for the future include traveling to Kenya and Madagascar on a walkabout, and then across Europe to Scotland where he will hang out with his grandpa. Then off to university he will go. Ronan would like to thank his beautiful parents, the lads, and misses, and the best brother and sister anyone could ask for, Callum and Sam. Congratulations, Ronan. Hi, Ronan. On, a, on behalf of the Salt Spring Island Waterbird Watch Collective, I'm pleased to present you with this bursary. On behalf of Driftwood Publishing, Ronan, I'm pleased to present you with a Barbara Richards Memorial Scholarship for the excellent essay you wrote about why a community newspaper is important. Ronan, on behalf of the Board of Education, it's my pleasure to present you with this Dogwood District Board Authority Award. Congratulations. Max Haig. Max isn't sure what the future will bring, but it might involve travel and university at some point. Max would like to thank his mom and Tim and John for their support. Congratulations, Max. Madeline Hepp. Madeline's best memories of GISS are lying on the grass with her friends, just basking in the sunshine. Her accomplishments include being on the honor roll for the last two years. Her plans for the future are to go to university to study the sciences and to travel. Madeline would like to thank her friends and teachers for making her years at GISS a fantastic experience. Most of all, she would like to thank her family for supporting her in her times of doubt. Congratulations, Madeline. Hello, Madeline. Again, on behalf of Country Grows, I'm very pleased to present you with this bursary. Brianne Hetherington. Brianne's time at GISS has been one of her defining experiences. She will never forget the people she met and the friends she made. A special thank you to her mom and friends for supporting her. Also, a sincere thank you to all the teachers who guided her in her learning. Congratulations, Brianne.
Congratulations, A through H. <laughs> you are all now slightly cooler than I through Z. Um, except for, uh, for you, Carly. Your certificate is fake. And um, you're not actually allowed to graduate or leave my house ever. <laughs> okay. So, now is for our third piece of advice. You might be done with high school classes, but living on your own is a much more intense and constant learning experience. When you're spending your own hard-earned money on something, uh, the importance of it becomes a lot clearer, the difference between want and need, uh, especially if you don't exclusively buy your clothes at a thrift shop. I like to obey Macklemore's theory and never, ever spend more than $50 on a t-shirt at once. I just wear my grandma's clothes. <laughs> Um, now for our first musical act from Bailey Dalton and Dania Aftius. They will be performing a piece that they wrote themselves called Sail.
that was really awesome, guys. Um, congratulations. Our next speaker is someone who has demonstrated extreme focus over the last few years. Uh, she has probably had to say no to a lot of exciting opportunities um, in exchange for what she wants most out of her future. At Gulf Island Secondary School, the valedictorian is the student with the highest overall academic standing in grade 12. No easy feat to accomplish with this smart group of students. Uh, it is my pleasure to please welcome the valedictorian for 2013, Maddie Nash. Okay, uh, I'm now seeing that every other person that spoke before me had the good sense to write down what they were going to say uh, with something I did not do, which uh, is a deep regret of mine at this moment. Uh, <laughs> looking out at all 2,400 pairs of eyes. Uh, <laughs> okay, so we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, I guess in the name of full disclosure, I should say when I was asked to do this, um, I really had no clue what I was going to say. I know that's probably a first for me. Um, but <laughs> I think I'm going to try and keep it short because I know everyone can appreciate a, a nice and short speech. Um, plus, I think there's really only one thing that I want to say, and that is thank you. Um, I'm so, so grateful to everyone that I'm graduating with today. I know it gets said every year, but I think this really is a remarkable group of graduates. Um, yeah. Uh, when I think of some of their individual accomplishments and what we've managed to pull off together as a team, um, we've come so far so fast. It's astonishing uh, that we haven't peaked, so fingers crossed. <laughs> I think uh, we really set the tone at the beginning of the year. I mean, this, this grad class, they build castles. I think awesome comes with the territory. It's uh, definitely in our nature. Um, and I think on that note, I really want to thank everyone else in this room. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Definitely, all of you guys. Uh, teachers and uh, admin and staff and community and parents and friends and family, anyone you can think of, anyone that's here today. Um, needs to be thanked. Um, it's really uh, because of you guys um, showing up here every day and uh, going above and beyond for us. It makes all of the difference. Um, you know, we wouldn't be here without you. I know I myself owe an incredible amount to all the students that I'm graduating with. My experience here was, was because of them. I mean, people, it's so common to hear what a great place GISS is. And, it is, but it's not because of the school that these guys are who they are. It's because of them that GISS is what it is, which is really just an incredible place to be. I know in the years to come, you're going to see nothing but gold from the grad class of 2013. <laughs> and uh, I think in the words of one great generational hero, Ferris Bueller, uh, <laughs> the question isn't what are we going to do, the question is what aren't we going to do. So I think um, for the 910th time you get asked the question, so what are you doing next, uh, you can answer with the highly sassy yet very accurate response, what aren't I going to do. And I think that's it. <laughs> Thank you, Maddie, and congratulations. Before we do the second round of certificates, we have another piece of alumni advice. This is a good one. Make mistakes. You may think that one day you will have everything figured out, but you definitely won't. <laughs> You'll mess up countless times, but make sure that you learn from all of those experiences. Keeping a good attitude after you fail to succeed at something um, is probably one of the best things to constantly improve about yourself with whatever endeavors you, you choose to undertake. Um, it's a pretty crucial habit uh, to hone and be paying attention to for yourself, not just who's around you. Now for their second round of certificates presented by Vice Principal Kelda Logan and read by Jason Donaldson and Dave Columbine. 
I'd like to remind you again to keep the clapping and shouting um, as minimal as possible for your friends to keep everything running quickly. <laughs> I'm hopefully going to do everybody a quick favor and copy Doug Pearson. Everybody, please stand up. Time to have a seventh inning stretch. Uh, yeah, move around, say hello. <laughs> Wink at the person beside you. There you go. Uh, where is Dougie? There you go. And then if you could have your seat again, please. Thank you. Aiden Holmes. Aiden's best memories of GISS all involve the shop. His best accomplishment is making it through high school. Plans for the future include becoming a heavy machine operator. Aiden would like to thank Mrs. Brown, Sam, and Ms. Campsell for all their support. Owen Hooper. Owen's best memories of GISS are those which involve the rare but intense rays of the signature Salt Spring Sunshine. His accomplishments include playing keyboards for a Muslim reggae band, releasing an album, buying a Casio Tone MT540 for $5, and becoming fluent in Bahasa Indonesian. In the future, Owen would like to do something that benefits everyone. Owen would like to thank his mother, father, younger brother, Shane, Jolin, his Indonesian host family, Rotary International, Mr. Griffith, Mr. Columbine, Mr. Donaldson, the Antler Club, and the spirit of rock and roll. <laughs> Owen, on behalf of the Board of Education, I'm pleased to present you with a district scholarship. Oh, and on behalf of all those who have contributed to this scholarship fund, the Max Abley Passion for Life Fund, I congratulate you on your passion and your focus. Keep up the good work. Hey, Owen. This uh, award that I'm about to give you um, presents a demonstration of a uh, love of music. And I want to congratulate you with the Blair Wasser Award. Thank you. Logan Harrell. Logan has had a wonderful time here at GISS, but he is sure that the teachers have had enough of him and his shenanigans. <laughs> Logan would like to thank all of his friends for dealing with him day after day, and Jasmine Davis for putting up with him the most. Logan would like to thank his computer for surviving all the torture and abuse he has put it through. <laughs> J.D. Hughes. JD's best memories of high school are simply the people. He feels that the diversity of each person at GISS is astounding. Spending his days in the halls, on the fields, and around the incredible people will stay with him his whole life. JD would like to thank his father for standing by his side throughout the years. JD would also like to thank his mother, who has been a steadfast ray of light. Lastly, he would like to thank his friends, who have made this experience the best he could have hoped to have in high school. JD also thanks the staff of GSS for putting up with him for these long four years. <laughs> Sylvia Hughes. For Sylvia, every day walking through the halls, the school seems alive, new, and simply beautiful. She loves the positive energy within the building. She finds this school to be an enchanting and comforting place. After this summer, Sylvia plans to go to UVic and study microbiology and biochemistry to get her on the path of a genetic researcher or counselor. It has also, sorry, it has always been a pleasure working with Mr. Donaldson. One thing she won't soon forget is her involvement in a couple of theater productions with our very own Second Story Theater Company. All in all, her time at GISS has been an experience she will cherish. Thank you to all those who have, who have, sorry, Thank you to all those who have cherished it with her. Sylvia, congratulations on winning a Lions Club bursary. Jackson Irving. 
Jackson's best memories include the many seasons of GISS basketball, including some legendary senior boys trips, and the countless hours spent in classrooms with the group. He plans to attend university at either UVic or UBC, find a passion, pursue it fully, and spend his life doing what he loves. Jackson would like to thank the many teachers, coaches, and friends who have helped and supported him. His family, especially mom, dad, and Caitlin for their love, support, and sacrifice, as well as Dan Stamp for his generosity. Jackson, congratulations. I'm pleased and honored to present you with the Maine Island Lions Club, Fred Greenslade Bursary. Now, Ito. One memory that sticks out in Now's mind was the snowball fight he had with his friends in 2010. He is proud to be graduating from Gulf Island Secondary School and is looking forward to studying engineering at Camosun College. Now thanks his teachers and friends for all their help. <laughs> Rebecca Johnson. Rebecca's fondest memories are of all the dance rehearsals, classes, and performances that she experienced with her fellow dancers, as well as being in Mr. Columbine's law class, which was always entertaining and interesting. Her accomplishments include choreographing eight dance pieces of her own, as well as receiving the Young Choreographer of the Year Award. Rebecca thanks Ms. Langer, as well as all the other GISPA teachers, as well as her family and friends for supporting her over the last four years. Nicole Jory. Nicole is a team player on and off the court. For her natural successes throughout her high school career, Nicole would like to thank Mr. Donaldson for his continuing support and all of the other teachers who helped her make, sorry, who helped her keep her eyes on the prize. Nicole sends her blessings to her parents, her friends, and the rains down in Africa. From here on out, as the song says, she'll let, she'll let Jesus take the wheel. Sasha Kazakov. Sasha's best memories of GISS are her senior years with all of her classmates and her ability to learn in such a unique place. Her accomplishments include achieving her goals throughout high school. Her plans for the future are to study at the University of Victoria, to achieve her Bachelor of Science and go on to veterinary school. Sasha would like to thank her family and friends for their support, especially her parents who have always supported her in everything she has done. Sarah Kennedy. Sarah's best memories are either set in the drama room feeling uncomfortable or on the athletic fields where she was regularly found playing sports. Although she does not know exactly what the future has in store, St Sarah is sure it will include handsome boys. <laughs> Sarah would first and foremost like to thank Madame Donahue, along with her incredible and wild friends for being the voice of reason she, she so often needed. Carissa Kinnear. Carissa's best memories were flying to Vegas for softball, competing at the Nationals for club volleyball, and going to Hawaii. Her future plans are to further her education in sports science. Carissa would like to give a giant thank you to Tony Mason for all the extra time he spent in the gym to help her achieve her goals. Although these past four years flew by, Carissa will never forget a single moment. Emily Kirkpatrick. Emily's best memory at GISS is the Europe trip she went on in grade 10. The accomplishment she is most proud of is graduating from the French Immersion Program. In the future, Emily plans to go to university and become all your kids' favorite teacher. <laughs> Emily would like to thank her family and friends. She would also like to thank all of those teachers who tried to get her to hand in her assignments on time. Emily, on behalf of Mid-Island Co-op Bursary, I'm pleased to hand you this bursary. Coralie Kitchen. Best times at GISS for Coralie include the barbecues at Phoenix Place and working with Sam Keating on her media arts course. She is proud to have had two successful work experience placements and for making progress in English, art, and math. Coralie's future includes doing something cool and becoming a world traveler. Thanks go out to Kim Chalmers, Krista Campbell, Sam Keating, and the team at Phoenix Place. Annika Kitka. 
Annika would like to thank her dogs and Nia for getting her through. Congratulations, Annika. And I'm extremely pleased to present you with yet another bursary from the Maine Island Lions Club, Fred Greenslade. Another scholarship for Annika to advance her art education from the Painters Guild. Congratulations, Annika. Another scholarship for uh, visual arts um, on behalf of uh, Derek Crawford Architectural Firm. Congratulations. Olivia Cornelson. Olivia's best memories include adventures with the French class and soccer trips. Her plans for the future are to travel the world. Olivia would like to thank her fabulous teachers for inspiring and challenging her her friends for the unconditional love and wild times, and her family for supporting her every step of the way. Olivia, on behalf of the Board of Education, it's my pleasure to present you with a district scholarship. Congratulations. Olivia, on behalf of Salt Spring Singers and others. Sage Chrysler. Sage's best memories include learning Japanese and going to Quebec City with his French class. His accomplishments include learning how to speak French and Japanese and getting his driver's license. Sage's plans for the future include moving to Hawaii or really soon and going to college there. Sage would like to thank Mr. Griffith, Mr. Uamhu, and Mr. Astle. Sarah Kyle. Sarah has fond memories of basking in sun at lunchtime and making people smile. Her plans for the future include traveling and creating a positive change in this world through art. She would like to give a big bear hug to everyone of the beautiful people who continue to inspire her, including teachers, family, and of course her wild friends. And Sarah, I'm pleased to give you the Miggs Russell Edwards Memorial Bursary. Sam Lewis. Sam's best memories of GISS are grade nine soccer and all his performances at Art Spring. In the future, Sam plans to see as much of the world as possible and follow whatever interests he finds or already has. He would like to thank his friends for reminding him not to take anything too seriously. <laughs> Ellie Linnell. Ellie's best memories at GISS are the time she spent in the media arts room. Mr. Colloran reading the students' poems in English class, and Mr. Duncan's random videos in math. One of Eli, Ellie's accomplishments is graduating. Her future plans include traveling, making new friends, and creating stories. Ellie sends thanks out to the yearbook editor team, Fitzy, Christy, Emily. She also sends thanks to her teachers, to everyone in the office for all their help, and to her family and friends for all their support with everything. <laughs> Ellie, I'm very excited to give you the Steffich Fine Art Award. Congratulations. Jenna Logan. Jenna's goal for the future is to remain happy and close with the ones she cares most about. She has felt the hardships, the sense of responsibility, the fun of life, the game of love, the puzzle of choices, and the mending of heartaches throughout her entire high school experience. She will remember the teachers and staff, and she gives her gratitude to fellow classmates and the friends she has made. Jenna says that her high school experience was quite the trip, to say the least. Jenna, one of the hardest working girls I've met, on behalf of the Mid-Island Co-op Bursary, I'd like to send this to you. And Jenna, on behalf of Gulf Islands Families Together Society, I want to present you with the Andrew Kazan Humanitarian Scholarship. Jenna, on behalf of the Hospital Employees Union Community Services Local, I'm pleased and proud to present you with this bursary. Nicole Love. 
Nikki's best memories at GISS are being surrounded by many caring and supportive teachers and students, early morning walks to school, warm tea, and receiving smiles and hugs every day. Her plans for the future are to make a noticeable change in our world, travel to extraordinary places, be the happiest she can be, and live her life to the fullest. Nikki would like to thank her amazing mama and papa for being the best parents anyone could ask for. She would also like to thank everyone who helped her along her journey. Nikki sends out so much love and gratitude to you all. Don't cry, you'll make me cry. Okay, on behalf of the Moet family and Moet's Trading Company, I'd like to present you with this memorial award, memorial award that honors my cousin Manson Toynbee, who was a humanitarian throughout his life and an amazing man. And this is for dedication to humanitarian concerns. Congratulations. Nicole, on behalf of the Naren Howe Memorial Foundation, we'd like you to accept this bursary. My late wife would want me to say, never ever underestimate the power of giving, for it shares, shines like a beacon throughout humanity. Congratulations. Congratulations, Nicole. On behalf of Svolva, I'm pleased to send give you this award. Nikki, I am especially happy and proud to present you with this bursary from the Hospital Employees Union Community Services Local. Jordan Lawson. I, I don't have anything written here, but I assume that she would like to thank her family and friends and all of her teachers, especially Mr. Colleran. Hi, Jordan. Um, you won a Barbara Richards Memorial Scholarship from the Driftwood for your beautifully written essay. <laughs> And Jordan, on behalf of the Salt Spring Island Women's Institute, it gives me great pleasure to present you with this year's bursary. Good thing we Alex Ludlow. Alex, a born and raised island child, couldn't have wished for a better place to go to high school. From the incredible teachers to the beautiful building and the freedom given here at GISS, she'll look back with nothing but the sunny light that surrounds the school. Her future plans include becoming an explorer of the world and a supreme individual being, with the hopes of sharing some of the light and love found here on Salt Spring with the rest of the world. Alex would like to thank Tony Marshall, Mr. Ohamu, and the whole Phoenix crew. She couldn't have done it without them. Most of all, Alex would like to thank her mother for everything. Zoe Latula. Zoe is grateful to the Phoenix birds who helped her rise above the ashes and fly to the path of success. Following graduation, Zoe will deepen her study and practice of sound healing, color therapy, Ayurvedic astrology, and massage therapy while continuing to explore her self-expression through pastel work. <laughs> Emily Lutakainen. Emily will never forget Mr. Colleran and Mr. Donaldson singing Hey Jude full volume down the hallways on one of her first days at GISS. Her accomplishments include performing original compositions with her friends in music shows and teaching herself piano. In the future, she plans to study clinical psychology at the University of Victoria, drink copious amounts of tea, see the world, and enjoy life. 
Emmy would like to thank Mr. Duncan for helping her survive through courses that he didn't even teach. He was so enthusiastic and helpful. She would also like to thank the music program for pushing her beyond her boundaries, Mr. Astle for being such a fantastic, grumpy Uncle David, and every <laughs> single other teacher and student that made her experience memorable. Congratulations, Emmy. Emmy, on, half of, on behalf of the Lady Mental Hospital Auxiliary, it gives me great pleasure. Callum McDonald. Callum's favorite memories are hanging out with his friends and learning with the great staff at GISS. He enjoyed many classes in school, namely woodwork, gym, law, and history. He would like to thank his friends, his family, and staff, the staff, and everyone else who made this a very awesome four years at GISS. Congratulations, Callum. Jolyn McLean. Jolyn's greatest accomplishments and favorite memories at GISS include exploring the performing arts, putting her creations on stage, and enjoying the calm of the water taxi rides home. After graduation, Jolyn plans to travel the world in search of everything beautiful and continue to learn about herself. She would like to thank Mr. Donaldson and Nia for expanding the horizons of her capabilities and her family and friends for their continuous love, inspiration, and support. Congratulations, Jolyn. Malcolm McKenzie. Becoming skilled at both black and white and digital photography is something Malcolm is proud of learning while at GISS. Good memories include fun times during the lunch hour, hanging out with friends in the Malty. Malcolm hopes to pursue a career he is passionate about, and he is grateful to the individuals at school and in his personal life who helped him on his way. Congratulations, Malcolm. <laughs> Ian McPhail Bartley. Ian's best memories of GISS are being able to spend his time doing what he's interested in, creating his own courses in shift, spending time in the music room and at the music shows and asking questions that none of his teachers could answer. His accomplishments include juggling French immersion with other classes and having the SSCB perform his arrangement. Plans for the future are to have one. Ian would like to thank everyone who has helped him learn something, especially his parents, for encouraging him to do things his own way. Congratulations, Ian. Ian, on behalf of the Music Parents Association, I'd like to present this award to you. Ian, on behalf of the Board of Education, I'm pleased to present you with a district scholarship. Tristan Marcano. Tristan's best memories include having the opportunity to volunteer as a mentor for the Eco9 trip with his friends. Among his accomplishments is the great citizenship he has shown throughout his school career. He has three consecutive citizenship awards to show for it. His future plans include applying for a trades program at Camosun College so that he will be able to finance his future endeavors. He would like to thank his teachers for supporting him as well as his friends and family for making him who he is today. Congratulations, Tristan. <laughs> Daniel Martin. Daniel is proud to be graduating in his hometown at GISS after traveling through BC, Hawaii, and South America. He is proud of working hard these last two years to be graduating with his peers. Daniel is looking forward to attending Camosun College to continue the technical training portion of his sheet metal apprenticeship. He reminds everyone that he will be back to Salt Spring to visit his family and friends. Congratulations, Daniel. And on behalf of the Board of Education, I am very proud to be presenting you with a district scholarship. Congratulations. On behalf of the Salt Spring Garbage Service, I am happy to present this scholarship for the trades. Well done. On behalf of the Salt Spring Lions Club, we'd like to present Daniel with one of our scholarships. Congratulations. Vincent Martin. Vinny's best memories include basketball, road trips, and hanging out with friends. His main accomplishment, just being happy to graduate. Vinny's plans for the future are to play baseball at college or university. Vinny would like to thank his family and all the GISS staff. Congratulations, Vincent. Hi, 
Hi, Vinny. On behalf of the whole administrative staff here at GISS and from both of your principals, we, we'd like to present you with a principal scholarship. Thank you. Congratulations, Vinny. Congratulations on winning a Pender Island Lands Cup bursary. Thank you, Thanks, Vinny. On behalf of SWOVA, I want to present you with this award. Rebecca Mason. Becky's best memories of GISS are all the fantastic teachers and friends, and all the fun times she shared with them. Her best accomplishment was winning the Eric Byron Award and completing Pony Club C2 on her horse. Plans for the future include teaching riding lessons to young riders and becoming an equine chiropractor. Becky would like to thank Mrs. Brown and Miss Logan for being so amazing and supportive. C congratulations, Rebecca. <laughs> Kyle Matheson. Kyle's best memories of GISS are the Hawaii trip, volleyball trips, and all the good times spent with friends. He is proud of winning the second All-Star Award in the BC Volleyball Provincial Championships this year. Kyle's future plans include traveling and eventually going on to post-secondary education. Thanks go out to Kelly Booth, his loving parents, and all of his friends. Congratulations, Kyle. Carson McCormick. Carson's best memories of GISS are going to Hawaii and placing fifth in the Provincials for Volleyball. He is most proud of being accepted to play for the Mariners volleyball team at VIU. In the future, Carson will finish his Bachelor's of Arts degree and, of course, play volleyball. He would like to thank his parents and Kelly Booth for all they've done for him. Congratulations, Carson. <laughs> Cody McIninch. Cody's best memories of GISS are spending the best of four years in the dance room and having great times with friends. She's proud of getting through high school. Future plans for Cody involve hanging out with the kangaroos and koalas in Australia and then seeing where life takes her. Thanks go to Shannon for always having her back and getting her through, Miss Logan for believing in her, and all her family and friends for loving and putting up with her throughout these years. Congratulations, Cody. <laughs> Dylan McLeod. Dylan's best memories of GISS are chilling with all of his friends and rolling in the Subaru. All the good times on the weekends are going to barbs every morning. Dylan's accomplishments are working hard meeting good people, and saving money throughout the school year while managing his schoolwork as well. His plans for the future are to stay happy and to live life to the fullest. He would like to thank all of his awesome friends and loving family for always being there. Congratulations, Dylan. Brooke Middleton. With much reflection, Brooke tucks the sum of her time securely away, so engrossed that she's been in the qualities of everyday life that many meaningful moments have become memories to reminisce with the ones who made them with her. Without your support, she would not be continuing to university and learning how to craft her life's sequel. She thanks you all profoundly. Congratulations, Brooke. Hello, Brooke. On behalf of Country Growers, I'm very pleased to present you with this bursary. Congratulations. Brooke, on behalf of the Board of Education, it's my pleasure to present you with a district scholarship. Congratulations. Brooke, on behalf of the Ladies Auxiliary of the Royal Canadian Legion, I present you this scholarship. Good luck. On behalf of Salt Spring writers and friends, it is a great honour to present you with this year's Clark Little Prize for Poetry. Congratulations. Hi, Brooke. On behalf of the Lambda Foundation, I'd like to present you this award for your work in human rights, and I'm very proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Eldon Millerstead. Eldon's best memory at GISS is launching his sailboat in March after 600 long hours of restoration work in the shop and late nights on the CNC machines. Eldon plans on studying engineering at the University of Victoria. 
Alden would like to thank his family. He would also like to thank Mr. Watkins for putting up with all the gray hairs Alden has given him. Glenn Marco for being a bro, and finally Mr. Nelson for just being himself. Congratulations, Eldon. Eldon, on behalf of the Salt Spring Lions Club, I'd like to present you with one of our scholarships. Congratulations. You're very welcome. Sam Miles. Playing on the senior boys soccer team and going to the provincial championships was definitely a high point of high school. What the future holds is still uncertain, but Sam is happy to have made many valuable friends who accompanied him on daring adventures and lunchtime tomfoolery. He thanks his parents for not kicking him out of the house yet. Congratulations, Sam. Evan Moore. Evan's best memories of GISS are hanging out with friends and just having a good time. His accomplishments include being accepted to UBC and completing the fire cadet program. His plans for the future are to get a degree either in civil engineering or aerospace engineering and then start a business. He also plans to travel abroad as much as possible. Evan would like to thank his loving parents and his family and all of his fantastic friends. All of you are amazing. Congratulations, Evan. Hi, Evan. On behalf of the Dr. James Buchan Memorial, I'm very pleased to present you the scholarship. Congratulations. Hi, Evan. I'm pleased to present you with the Harrison Company Scholarship. Levi Mundy. Levi's best memories of GISS are GISPA trips, scholarships, getting grips, hills and dips, writing scripts, eating chips, paper clips, full of clips, chewy dips, parsnips, steady drips, and chicken strips. His accomplishments include learning to play guitar and actually being a musician instead of just acting like one, getting into GISPA and being on Miss Robinson's 100% wall. His plans for the future include traveling through Eastern Europe and Southeast Asia and hammering out a rough draft of the rest of his life. Levi would like to thank his family and Finlay. He would also like to thank Wikipedia for the facts he always threw in at the wrong time. Congratulations, Levi. <laughs> Liam Murray. Liam's favorite memories include an endless number of shenanigans with the boys and the longer than anticipated trips to the water fountain that would turn into full-fledged adventures. He also enjoyed keeping it fresh every day of the week, even Mondays. Liam's future plans include roaming the globe with no sense of direction, it's experiencing different cultures around the world, getting lost until finding riches, and settling down to live a royal lifestyle. He would like to thank his extremely loving yet stubborn mother for putting up <laughs> with him all these years, his island family for dishing out more love than he could ever return in a lifetime, and all of his Salt Spring raised homies. Congratulations, Liam. Thank you, Jason and Dave. Now it is time for the grad representative speech. I'm, I, I, I'm sure everyone would enjoy a chance to reflect on their time at GISS. However, these two fine young human specimens have been chosen by their grad class as the two that most represents them all. Please welcome Ethan Fregon and Nicole Love. Hello? Mm, okay. Uh, hi, my name is Ethan Friggin. And I am Nicole Love. We are here representing the grad class, grad class of 2013. Yeah. <laughs> we couldn't think of a way to start the speech, so we decided to start from the beginning. It was December 31st, 1995. The year of the pig was coming to an end, and the majority of the grad class had been born that year. Minus Galen White. Let's just say he's always been a little bit slow. <clears throat> For the first couple years of our lives, we wore nothing but cloth diapers and daisy chains. Except for Brayden Krause. 
She refused to wear anything but the best. Designer diapers, that is. God loves Salt Spring. The most popular song in 95 was We've Got It Going On by the Backstreet Boys. This must have really influenced Ty, Nevin, Ronan, Farley, and Tim, considering they still think they got it going on. <laughs> Moving along, the first day of school rolled around, and our parents were eagerly packing our lunches so they could finally get a break from us. Hey, Nikki, isn't there a few students whose parents still pack their lunches? <clears throat> Carson. <clears throat> Now, we all reached grade five, and let's just say this was an itchy year. Most of the kids' heads were infected with lice, remember that? <laughs> Parents would do everything they could to keep their kids away from the infested kids. Margot Gregane still won't let me inside of her house to this day. <laughs> Finally, middle school rolled around, and we started to become closer as a class. <sighs> ah. Wait. Maybe too close, considering <laughs> Truth or Dare was our favorite game. Speaking of middle school, Miss Allen had a mandatory home ec class. And on the first day, I remember seeing Tala's, Ben's, and Max's eyes light right up. Unfortunately, at the time, they didn't know the difference between a measuring cup and a barbecue skewer. But on a positive note, they have, there's a great culinary arts program at the high school for them to succeed in. Succeed in. At last, we finally made it to high school, the place where anything goes. Or should we say anything grows? Especially Mr. Columbine's back hair. Yeah. Yuck. <laughs> yeah. Now, by the end of grade 12, most of us have been blessed to be a part of one of Mr. Donaldson's interesting acting classes. Hey. Maybe not. Anyways, moving along. There are many different. Uh, there are many different <laughs> groups in the high school. Unfortunately, for the hipster group, they were so off in their own little world they didn't realize that their clothes went out of style in the 1800s. But hey, there's nothing wrong with the 1800s. That's the year Dawson Brown's car was built. But seriously, on a more no. On a more relevant note, hey Nikki, remember earlier this year when the song Thrift Shop was released? Yeah, that caused an island-wide shortage of fur coats and your granddad's clothes. But seriously, grade 12 has been a truly memorable year full of ups and downs that have brought us closer together. Thankfully, we've all been here to help each other every step of the way. Calder, we are truly thrilled to have you back with us. We, we love, love you, man. man. And we hope that each and every one of you continue to be the best you can be. Class, Class of 2013, 2013 we rock! rock. Awesome. Thank you, Ethan and Nicole. Your classmates made an excellent mm. choice. Coming up, another musical act and another life pro tip from us. Make sure you take care of yourself. If you're sick, go see the doctor or call your mom. Seriously. Fruits, vegetables, water, a good night's sleep, and vitamins are your friend. On the topic of a good night's sleep, in my experience, five hours is essential. If you don't have five hours of sleep, you're going to have a bad time. <laughs> Uh, the next performers share a humongous uh, amount of musical accomplishment between them and are going to perform a composition they created themselves titled Elephant Gun. May I please present Owen Hooper, Ian McPhail Bartley, Levi Mundy, and Sam Lewis. <laughs> Cold nights and clear skies Old guitars and burning eyes We sit and watch the stars 
dance around the room whiskey lips sing broken tunes through the smoke and sweet perfume just sitting in the basement writing songs about the girls who break our hearts I don't sleep these days away We won't let them go to waste. Just take, just take it slow. Sometimes I talk to my old friends from their place up in the sky And I still believe in fairies even though that I know otherwise I say I'll never be a man if I think that that's all true But I still think I could be the man for you Drink tonight Far from 
Wow. Before the final round of certificates uh, confirming your graduation, I'd like you to like to remind you, sorry, to do one more thing before you leave Gulf Island Secondary. Find some of your favorite teachers and have a conversation with them. Thank them for teaching you because once you're no longer taking classes from them anymore, they transform into human beings, surprisingly enough, uh, and are actually pretty cool. And now for the final round of certificates. Presenting these will be Judy Radish with teachers Bo Curtis and Ray Collar in reading. Maddie Nash. Maddie would like to thank all the truly remarkable people whom she harassed incessantly over the last four years, Ms. Radish and Ms. Logan in particular, who are responsible for creating the ravishing experience that was GISS. Maddie would like to especially thank her parents for their unquestioning trust and enduring support all the way through. She would also like to give a loud shout out to her team and the crazy, beautiful friends that made every adventure and every moment a crazy, beautiful one. Congratulations, Maddie. All the places you'll go. Madeline, the Rotary Club of Salt Spring Island would like to present you with a scholarship for academic excellence, and we wish you all the best in all your endeavors in the future. Uh, on behalf of the Salt Spring uh, Forum, I am happy to uh, present this scholarship. Uh, congratulations. Hi, Maddie. I'm very honored to present you with the first uh, Country Grocer Award of Distinction. Congratulations. Best wishes. Ty O'Neill. Completing the French Immersion Program has been a high point for Ty. He thanks his teachers, especially Louise Doucette, for her ongoing support. He is proud to be working towards his apprenticeship while still in high school and can't wait to experience the world beyond Salt Spring Island. He would like to thank everyone at GISS who has made the ride memorable. Thanks go out to his parents for being supportive and understanding. Congratulations, Ty. Elise Pearson. Elise is headed to Quest University this September. She hopes to question everything, grab the world in her teeth and taste it all. Eternal love and gratitude go out to Hannah for showing her the shapes in the clouds. A shout out to Mackenzie for setting the bar high. Love to her parents for all their support. A thank you to every one of her friends who are equally worth recognizing. She applauds you all. A special dose of gratitude goes out to her teachers. Their passion, commitment, and enthusiasm will forever inspire her. Congratulations, Elise. On behalf of the Ladies Auxiliary of the Royal Canadian Legion, I present this scholarship to you, or bursary to you. Congratulations. Hello, Elise. On behalf of the Salt Spring Island Garden Club, I'm very pleased to present you with this scholarship. Congratulations and best wishes. Hannah Pearson. Hannah's fondest memories at GISS our French immersion, athletics, and collect collective creation. Her plans for the future include becoming a world-class globetrotter, leaving our Earth better than she found it, and to never stop telling stories. Hannah would like to thank her beautiful family, her irreplaceable friends, and every one of her mentors, teachers, and coaches for continuing to lead such inspiring lives. Congratulations, Hannah. Anna, on behalf of French Immersion, I'm pleased to present you with this scholarship. Hannah Rose Pearson, it is with great pleasure that I present you with the Jean Shopland Memorial Scholarship. Congratulations. <laughs> Anna, on behalf of the Board of Education, I'm very pleased to present you with the District Scholarship. 
Paige Penny. Paige's best memories of GISS are dancing her heart out on stage, playing on the senior girls' volleyball team, basking in the sunshine, and being surrounded by and learning from all sorts of amazing people. Paige's plans for the future are to go on incredible journeys, meet new people, and be happy and healthy. Paige would like to thank her mom and Paul for their continuous support, her dad for his constant encouragement, Nikki for being her other half, and Evan for being with her through everything. Yay. Paige, on behalf of the Royal Canadian Legion, I present you this bursary. Congratulations. Paige, on behalf of the Board of Education, I'm pleased to present you with a district scholarship. Chris Perrins. Chris's years at GISS have been filled with laughter, fun, some work, and more laughter. He will never forget his time in the drama room, acting and working on the Odyssey, and all the time he spent with the senior volleyball team. He plans to attend the University of Victoria to study engineering and hopefully start down the path of an aerospace engineer. He would like to thank everyone that has supported him in his endeavors so far, especially his parents and his brother. Congratulations, Chris. This award is to recognize and honor a member of the graduating class of GISS who has demonstrated exceptional service to his class, the school, and the community without expectation of personal gain, similar to the Rotary motto, service above self. Chris, you are the unsung hero of 2013. Tayani Peters. Learning and experiencing her teenage years at GISS was a blessing. Although she will miss Salt Spring, Tayani is excited to attend the University of Victoria this September. She hopes to return and open a youth group home here in the Gulf Islands. A special thanks to her friends, family, teachers, the Marcanos, the Charltons, Kevin Hughes, and every other guide on her continuing journey. Tayani extends her sincere gratitude. Without you all, Tayani, Tayani would not be here where she is today. Congratulations, Tayani. Tayani, on behalf of Western Communities Foundation, I am very pleased and honored to present you this bursary for exceptional achievement. Congratulations. Tiani, on behalf of the Canadian Federation of University Women, I'm very pleased to present you this award for academic excellence. Tiani, on behalf of Country Grocer, I'm very pleased to present this bursary. Thank you. Ty Piff. Ty's best memories at GISS are spending time laughing with his friends. His accomplishments include graduating high school and finishing his Spanish 12 course in a week. His plan is to, is to live a life where he is happy. Ty would like to thank his parents for supporting him in every aspect in life. They have helped him through so much. Ty would also like to thank his good friends for making his high school years a lot easier. Congratulations, Ty. <laughs> Maya Perebska-Smith. Maya has cherished all of her time at GISS. Each day was indescribably, indescribably unique and plentiful with new surprises that have helped keep life peachy. She is proud of having finished French immersion and to have tried such a variety of activities. Maya hopes to do something to go somewhere, to be passionate about her work, to be inspired, and to love life. She would like to thank everyone, as each individual who has been a part of her life has made her journey thus far 
So wonderful. Congratulations, Maya. Hi, Maya. On behalf of the Mowat family and Mowat's trading, I'm really honored to please you with the, Mowat, the Gilbert Mowat of Russ Scholarship. Congratulations. Maya, on behalf of the Salt Spring Island NDP Club, I would like to present you with this Memorial Don Goodman Award. Hi, Maya. I'm really pleased to be able to present you with a French Immersion Scholarship. Maya, your four principles recognize the, um, the fact that you have it all. Um, artistic <laughs> talent, academic achievement, sports, and also a very kind and caring heart. Congratulations. Erin Pringle. Erin's best memories of GISS include going on a leadership camping trip and helping out in a Math 10 class. Her most recent accomplishment is getting accepted into university in the Okanagan. In the near future, Erin plans on attending the University of British Columbia in Kelowna to study management and accounting. She would like to thank her family and friends for the continuous support. Great. Congratulations, Erin. Erin, the Salt Spring Island Women's Institute is very pleased to be able to present a second bursary this year, and I am delighted to be able to present it to you. Kayla Polke. <laughs> Watching Scorpions soccer games on the field at GISS are some of Kayla's best memories of her time in high school. Kayla's plans for next year include working and playing baseball. Kayla would like to thank her family and friends for all their love and support for the past 18 years. Congratulations, Kayla. <laughs> Devin Quinn. Leading the Eco 9 camping trip in 2012 is one of the highlights of Devin's time at GISS. He is proud to have led workshops for Sims, received an outstanding achievement in the Arts Award, and has been on the honor roll and principals list several times. Devin hopes to start work as a fitness trainer to raise enough money for university. Other than that, his future is unplanned, and that's the way he likes it. Devin would like to thank a lot of people, including the teachers of GISS who made learning enjoyable, the principal, Judy Radish, for giving his grad class the freedom to leave the 2013 legacy, his fellow grads for rising to the occasion and making it a year to remember. And lastly, his parents for giving him the majority of his education. Congratulations, Devin. Ryan Quist. Ryan's best memory of GISS is time spent in the music room. His major accomplishment was composing the music and performing in the play, The Boy Jimmy. Ryan's plan for the future includes attending Selkirk College. He would like to thank his teachers, especially Bruce Smith. He would also like to thank his mother, his friends and peers, and whoever makes the pastries in the cafeteria. <laughs> Congratulations, Ryan. <laughs> Isabella Ray. Isabella intends to spend her life exploring the world and its many wonders. She plans to continue learning, discovering, and adventuring in an attempt to make the planet a better place. She would like to thank the people who made it worthwhile and all who supported her during the journey, her eccentric family included. Congratulations, Isabella. Austin Reynolds. Austin fondly remembers how the school was always ready for him. It was much different than his schooling experience in Vancouver. In accomplishments include having a blast in drama class, developing the basic skills of woodworking, and eventually making a high quality longboard in the, work, in the wood shop. In the future, Austin plans to enjoy each moment to its fullest capacity. Austin thanks Jason Donaldson for being a Jekyll Hyde type genius. Kelda Logan for always having a smile for him, 
Nia Williams for being a great counselor, and Mr. Barry for the conversations. Congratulations, Austin. Christy Reynolds. Christy's fondest memories include bungee jumping with Carissa for her 17th birthday, as well as the countless ferry rides and road trips with her gymnastics team. Her accomplishments include placing ninth in the 2013 High School Gymnastics Provincial Championships and being nominated as the Cowichan Valley Cheerleading Captain. Future plans include moving to Vancouver and joining the Vancouver All-Stars Cheerleading Club as well as aiming for the World Championships. Christy thanks her parents, coaches, Ms. Fitzsaland, and everyone else who has helped and supported her. Congratulations, Christy. <laughs> ben Richardson. Ben's best memories are traveling to Hawaii with the volleyball team, all the crazy rowing trips, and playing disc golf with the boys. His accomplishments include winning the Eric Byron Award and traveling to provincials with the volleyball team. His future plans involve attending UVic for engineering as well as taking time to travel. Ben would like to thank his parents for helping him with all his classes, as well as friends for keeping the, com the competition heated. Congratulations, Ben. <laughs> Heather Ripley. Heather will never forget her grade nine year, getting locked in a locker and Mr. Astle coming to her rescue. She is proud first to have discovered a path for herself, studying to become a nurse, and secondly, to have passed her end test. Heather is grateful to the staff at Phoenix Place, the counselors, as well as her family and friends for the support and encouragement. Congratulations, Heather. Kimberly Rothwell. Next year, we'll find Kimberly attending the University of Victoria, studying to become a, a physiotherapist. She will miss her friends and the good times they've had during her four years of high school, but, it is, but is excited to see where the adventure will take them next. Thanks go out to her parents for all they have done to support her and her many siblings for always being there for her. Congratulations, Kim. This bursary is awarded on behalf of the Lady Mental Hospital Auxiliary, and we thank you for applying. Nathan Rowley. Nathan's favorite memory was waking up early and catching the ferry every day. His greatest accomplishment is being here. School is over. After grad, he will be heading to, uh, to Alberta, working towards a trade certificate in heavy-duty mechanics. For Nathan, the future is so bright, he has to wear shades. <laughs> he sends his thanks out to everyone. Congratulations, Nathan. <laughs> Maya Sharon. M Maya's plans for the future include traveling to far off lands and soaking up some sunshine before giving university a shot. Maya is extremely grateful to all those who helped her along the way to graduation. In particular, she would like to thank her teachers for their never-ending help and patience, her friends for the many laughs, and her family for their endless love and support. Congratulations, Maya. Maya, I'm very pleased to be able to present you with the CUP Local 788 Memorial Bursary. Liam Simpson. Liam's favorite memory over the past few years is just being around his tight circle of friends. A recent accomplishment includes working on his car to prepare it for shows. His future plans are to attend UVic in the Faculty of Sciences, as well as working and traveling abroad. Liam would like to thank his parents for pushing him to succeed, Kim Elser for providing the academic help that he needed, and his friends for lightening the load. Congratulations, uh, Liam. Liam, on behalf of the Salt Spring Antique and Classic Car Club, once a car buff, always a car buff. Here's a bursary. <laughs> Thank you. Tala Smallwolf. 
Tala has enjoyed the last four years at GISS. She's very proud of the time she spent in the cafeteria and the wonderful job she held at Bruce's Kitchen. Tala would like to thank her loving and supportive family, Susan Lurcher, Millie Sinclair, and Chef Bruce Wood. Tala feels that without these wonderful people in her life, she would not be where she is today. Congratulations, Tala. Tala, the Rotary Club of Salt Spring Island is delighted to give you a scholarship to further your studies in the culinary arts, and I look forward to eating your cooking someday. <laughs> Congratulations. I'm very happy to present you with the Bruce's Kitchen John Wilcox Bursary, and, <laughs> and on behalf of farmers to thank you for appreciating the value of local food. Hi, Tala. Congratulations. I'm honored to present to you the Pamela Booth Culinary Arts Scholarship. Look forward to tasting some of your delicious, delectable delights. Congratulations, Tala. Tala, so happy to see you here. On behalf of the Hospital Employees Union and Greenwoods and Lady Minto, I'd like to present this bursary for post-secondary studies. Way to go. Beth Smith. Beth would like to thank everyone for their support through our high school years. She will always remember the trips to Maine in grade 9, the media arts classes in grade 10, and the friendships she built through the years at GISS. Though Beth will be very happy to be done high school and to move on with her life, she's happy to have these memories. Congratulations, we have Beth. <laughs> Brianna Smith. The most memorable part of GISS for Brianna were the water taxi rides as well as all the teachers and all the friends she made. Brianna is proud that she graduated early. Future plans include training in massage therapy or attending Camosun College to complete their hospitality management program. Brianna would like to thank Ms. Logan and Nia Williams and her friends for supporting her through everything. Congratulations, Brianna. <laughs> Cole Smith. Cole's best memories are of the trials which both succeeded and failed, but all of which caused him to grow. His greatest accomplishment was his quick adaptation to the Salt Spring way of life. Cole plans to eat well, travel far, and learn much. Many thanks to his amazing mother, Pam, for their, her constant support and for putting up with his mathematical antics in the early morning, to his fantastic father, Blair, for his encouragement and guidance throughout the years, as well as his strength and staying connect, connected, to thousands, uh, connected thousands of kilometers apart. Cole extends a million thanks to the students at GISS for their warmth and kindness in welcoming him onto the island. Finally, Cole thanks his teachers for helping him to find his passions and for guiding his post-secondary path to Mr. Colloran Carpe Diem. Cole, on behalf of the Salt Spring Island Lions Club, I'd like to congratulate you as being one of our winners for our scholarship this year. Cole, my pleasure to present you the Robert S. Unger Scholarship Carpe Diem. Gabrielle Spies. Gabrielle would like to thank her teachers and coaches who have taught her to speak up, to know when to lead and when to follow, and most importantly, to find the beauty in even the driest concepts. To all the friends Gabrielle has made throughout the years, you have each helped her to grow. To Mark and Isabel, your heroes and the best friends, and, and <clears throat> that words will never be enough to show how grateful Gabrielle, I'm sorry, Best friends, and Gabrielle thanks you for your constant comic relief. To mom and dad, words will never be enough to show how grateful Gabrielle is for your never-ending faith in, yeah. in her. Mom, you are the strongest woman she knows and who she aspires to be. Even though she's leaving, she'll always be your girl. Gabrielle thanks you for lifting her up. She loves you all. Gabrielle, on behalf of the Board of Education, I'm very pleased to present you with a district scholarship. Congratulations. Gabrielle, on behalf of the Lady Minto Hospital Auxiliary, we're very pleased to have you on board. Gabby, on behalf of the Salt Spring Island Lions Club, I'd like to congratulate you as one of our scholarship winners. 
Well done. Shasta Stedman. Shasta's fondest GISS memory is walking through the large glass doors of the school every day and engaging with her friends and teachers. She's happy about winning a full scholarship to gifts and getting a 100% in Media Arts 11. Her long-term plans and dreams are to finish drawing her graphic novel, go to art school, learn more, and travel. She would like to thank Rachel Fitzalan for her understanding, Mr. Astle for his sense of good humor. His humor always made her smile in the most awkward of times. Carol Arnold for speaking, or sparking her interest in history for three years and onwards. And last but not least, Peter Lagun. thank you. Christian Stepaniak. Christian's best memories include long walks around the school with his guitar and Thursday afternoons in acting. His accomplishments include six years of guitar, five theatrical productions, and six years of karate, which include five tournaments, ten medals, and a brown belt. In the future, Christian plans to play music, practice karate, go to university, explore the world, and never stop learning and loving life. Christian would like to thank Mr. Donaldson for having faith in him, Mr. Astle for reminding him that he could do it, Mr. Smith for pushing him, Mr. Griffith, Mr. Krauss, and Mr. Columbine for the long talks, and his parents for doing all this and more. Christian loves you all. Peace. <laughs> Matt Stubbs. McGill University is the next stop for Matt on his educational pathway, where he's preparing to study hard and sleep little. Great times at GISS include sun-drenched afternoons of tennis and discovering things. Matt is proud of his accomplishments, which did not always involve getting to class on time, and is grateful to his mom who, in addition to many other things, saved the outcome of a particular exam by bringing him his calculator. <laughs> Congratulations, Matt. <clears throat> Matt, the Rotary Club of Salt Spring Island is pleased to present you with a scholarship for excellence in the arts. I've personally enjoyed your piano playing, and I wish you all the best. Hope to see you back on the Art Spring stage again. Hi, Matt. I'm here on behalf of the generosity of so many that you've completely charmed with your generosity and your music. All the best. Matthew, this is the bursary from the Salt Spring Community Arts Council in Performing Arts. And I'd like to thank you for making this choice such an easy one for us. Thank you. Shannon Svela. The most significant memory for Shannon while at GISS was last year's dance festival in Victoria. She is extremely thankful that she made it through to graduation. Shannon plans to work and travel throughout Canada this summer with Noodlebox and move to Australia in the fall. Thank yous go out to Mr. Smith, Ms. Logan, and her close friends. Congratulations, Shannon. Jackson Sweetnam. Jackson's best memories of GISS include going to Hawaii with the volleyball team and playing a game with friends. His accomplishments include finishing fifth in provincials for volleyball. In the future, Jackson plans to travel the globe and become a professional in a game. He would like to thank friends and family. An extra big thanks goes out to Kelly Booth for the awesome support. Congratulations, Jackson. Matty Troyer. Matty would like to thank all of the teachers and staff, especially Ms. Radish and Ms. Logan, for their support and flexibility during his time at GISS. Congratulations, Matty. <laughs> Shoei Tsang. Shoei plans to attend university after high school, studying sciences. She is proud to have finished French immersion and as well as getting all her sciences in before graduating. She would like to thank her teachers and family for their support throughout the years and her friends for keeping it light. Congratulations, Shai. 
Elliott. On behalf of Country Growth, I'm very pleased to present you with this bursary. Congratulations. On behalf of the Gulf Island Teachers Association, congratulations for being awarded our scholarship. Yeah. Steffi Tsang. Steffi's best memories of GISS include being part of the GISS dance program and GISPA. Her plans for the future are to become a designer. Steffi would like to thank her parents, her host families, her friends, Mr. Colloran, Mr. Krause, Ms. Williams, Ms. Langer, Ms. Lavender, Scott, and Sherry. Congratulations, Steffi. Steffi, I'm very happy to present with you to you the District Scholarship for International Students for three years of really hard work. Thank you, Steffi. Lauren Utter, in the, worlds of, in the words of Julia Child, just speak very loudly and quickly and state your position with utter conviction, as the French do, and you'll have a marvelous time. Lauren plans to have a marvelous time attending Dalhousie University in the fall, where she will study math and science in the pursuit of something quite unknown at present. She thanks all of her teachers, especially Judy Radish, Kelda Logan, and Larry Nelson for their support during the last four years. Her family, her parents, for loving her to the moon and back. Congratulations, Laura. Laura, the Rotary Club of Salt Spring Island is delighted to present you with a scholarship for academic excellence. Best wishes in all your endeavors. Congratulations. Lauren, on behalf of Mowat Trading, I would like to present the Jane Mowat Memorial Scholarship to you. I'm so pleased. You. On, behalf, on behalf of the um, Salt Spring Forum, I'm, I'm pleased to give you this scholarship. Martin Vandenberg. Martin's best memories of GISS are realizing how easy it is to graduate if you keep working. His accomplishments include painting his Pontiac Fiero, two cars, and a truck. Future plans include restoring and selling cars. Martin would like to thank Richard Murakami, David Curran, Ms. Campbell, and Chip. <laughs> Trevor Walker. Trevor's best memories of GISS include the Europe trip, the dance performances and theater productions, the Odyssey, and the Canterbury Tales. His accomplishments include showing his incredible stage presence, whether it was dancing to a Michael Jackson song or in a play scene where circumstances were about to take a dramatic turn. Plans for the future include getting married, having children, and having a successful acting career in Hollywood. <laughs> Trevor would like to thank his family, Sonia Langer, Jason Donaldson, David Columbine, Dean Krause, and Ray Colloran. Congratulations, Trevor. <laughs> Galen White. Galen's best memories of GISS are of all the good times with friends, family, and the volleyball team, and even teachers during his four years. <laughs> He is most proud of graduation with all the people that he likes, making fifth place in the provincials and skipping a grade ahead in grade four. Galen plans to travel around the world and find out what he wants to do in life, having a good time while doing so. He, thinks, he thanks all his friends, mom, dad, four sisters, and the rest of the family for supporting him and his becoming the person he is today. He also thanks Kelly Booth and all his teachers for adding to the experience. Congratulations, Galen. Kayla Windsor. Kayla's favorite memories revolve around hanging with her friends and when they coordinated a bake sale. She's proud to receive honorable status three times in one year as well as helping prevent bullying in the school. Future plans include traveling to Hawaii and Europe as well as seeking a career in cooking. Kayla would like to thank Henry, Ms. Campbell, Mr. Pearson, Mom, and Dad. Congratulations, Kayla. Kayla, this scholarship is for a student 
who is hot on the trail of um, hospitality and tourism training. It's from the Accommodations Group of Salt Spring Island, and it gives me great pleasure to give it to you. Amalea Woodwolf. Amalea's best memories of GISS are barefoot sunny days playing music and making daisy chains and giggle-filled guitar classes. Her accomplishments include finding happiness. Emily's plans for the future are to travel until her shoes wear through. Beyond that, it's an adventure into the unknown. She'd like to thank her friends and family, all of them, for the love and laughter and everything else. Also, thanks to Tony and Nia for helping her through, Mr. Smith for pushing her to find her voice, Mr. Astle for making biology fun, and Mr. Duncan for miraculously making math entertaining. Congratulations, Emily. Linda Yang. Linda's best memories at GISS are meeting so many wonderful Canadian students and international students from different countries. She'll be going to the University of British Columbia and wants to travel around the world to visit her friends from other countries after graduating from GISS. She would like to thank her family, her host families, Ms. Williams, Ms. Robinson, Sherry, Scott, and her friend Steffi. Congratulations, Linda. <laughs> Hi, Linda. On behalf of Scott and myself, I'd like to present you with the International Education Award. Nevin Young. Nevin's best memories of GISS are the trips, Provincials 2012, and the intensive and unforgettable French semester. His plans for the future are not yet set in stone, but he aspires to never stop learning and growing, to travel the world, and to regret nothing along the way. Nevin would like to thank the crew for all the love and laughter, the lads he's played soccer with throughout the years, the teachers who made GISS the amazing place it is and for their passion and knowledge, Doug Pearson for making senior boys more than just soccer, and especially his parents and brother for all their unconditional love and support. Congratulations, Nevin. Hey, Nevin, it's my honor to present you the Katsuyori and Kimiko Murakami Scholarship uh, from your neighbors across the soccer field, the Murakami family, and uh, it's for your proficiency in academics and for your participation in school and community activities, and also for being a good citizen here in the schools. So you've done that now, and I'll go out there and be a good citizen of the world. Congratulations. Kyle Yun. Kyle's best memories at GISS are of spending time with friends. His accomplishments include passing classes and learning. His plans for the future include going to university and learning more. Kyle would like to thank his teachers, family, and friends for always giving him support. Congratulations, Kyle. Hi, Kyle. On behalf of the Apple Festival, I'd like to present you with a Rex Wellen Memorial Bursary. Congratulations. Kyle, on behalf of the Vermeulen family, the Salt Spring Island Golf and Country Club, I'm pleased to present you with the Richard Vermeulen Golf Scholarship. Megan Zook Brown. Megan will always hold her folks, friends, and the Gulf Islands people close to her heart. They have encouraged her inner growth, shown Megan genuine beauty, and preached to her that life is too short for bad coffee. Congratulations, Megan. Congratulations, guys. You all now hold diplomas for graduating high school. Technically, the diplomas you hold in your hands right now are fake. <laughs> but you will get the real ones in the mail eventually. <laughs> now it is time for the part of the ceremony that I've been most excited about. It's my pleasure to introduce my little sister Carly, also my professional stunt double, to perform Billy Joel's song, Vienna Waits for You.
just for a juvenile Then if you're so smart Tell me why are you still so afraid So hurry about your battle Cool it off before you burn it out You got so much to do And only so many hours in a day Hey But you know that when the truth is told That you can get what you want Or you can just get old You're gonna kick off Before you even get halfway Time, although it's so romantic, the borderline tonight, tonight. Too bad, but it's the life you lead. You're so ahead of yourself that you forgot what you need, though you can see when you're wrong. You know, you can't always see when you're right. You're right. You've got your passion, you've got your pride, but don't you know that only fools are satisfied? Don't imagine they'll all come true Ooh, and will you realize If you know waits for you Take the phone off the hook and disappear for a while It's alright, you can't afford to lose a day or two Ooh, why don't you realize If you know waits for you And when will you realize If you know waits for you Thank you, Carly. That was amazing. I'm crying. <laughs> OK, now it is time for our last two pieces of advice. It's been a really interesting experience for Tim and I to come up with these pieces of advice, because the two of us have taken completely different paths since we graduated three years ago. I've been at the University of Victoria studying commerce and then engineering, switching gears every four months, um, learning completely different things, which I really enjoyed. Um, and I lived in my parents' basement until I could afford to gallivant across Europe. <laughs> but even though we have experienced completely different things, Tim and I have come up with two more pieces of advice that can apply to your life no matter what you choose to do after leaving GISS. The best advice I can give anybody of any age is to not compare what you are doing with your life to whatever anybody else is doing with theirs unless it is for inspiration. Do what you do because you want to do it, not because you think you should. Everybody takes different paths in life and have pride in what you do. As you're all going off in different directions, taking the world by storm, now that you're done with high school, uh, there's one thing that you can do once a week, wherever you are and whoever you're with, uh, take a moment to pause and reflect on how much fun you're having, how good everything that you have around you is, because when you're paying attention to what you have, it's just that much more valuable. Uh, this habit, being mindful of what good you have around you, is crucial to being healthy and getting you through stressful times. I know it's helped me, and I, I hope you guys can do that in the next few years, because it's, it's great. Please, or thank you all for coming to the ceremony today. It was a pleasure to be your MCs. Please remain seated for the Grand March. There will be refreshments in the multipurpose room after this, and the grads will be posting or posing outside for a picture on the field. 
Uh, everyone's baby posters are also in the multi-purpose room, so you can see what they all looked like 17, 18 years ago. Ladies and gentlemen, the time has come. Without further ado, we now present to you formally and finally our excited grad class of 2013. Go, go, go. 